Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got this Bush portable Bluetooth speaker. Untested return apparently, but then it also says charger broke off inside something. Let's get it on the overhead and see if we can fix it. So it looks very simple, very basic, and sounds like there's something in there. So fingers crossed that is the actual port. Looks like it should be micro USB, and yep, that has definitely snapped off. So what do we need to get this open? Uh, cross head screwdriver. Let's grab one of those and see how we get on. Front grill here yeah, looks like it pops off, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Phillips screws in there. back so the charge board looks like it's down here we've got a 18650 battery which is hot glued in lovely I also noticed we've got a runaway speaker so we'll need to find a way to get that glued in as well get these unscrewed And get this board out if we can. A little sub board so that makes life slightly easier. Beautiful. And what do I see hiding down here? Little port. Good. We'll get this under the microscope and see what we're dealing with. Now, a quick word from our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay are your one-stop shop for all things PCB design and assembly, offering services ranging from PCB design and assembly made to your own custom spec to CNC machining, 3D printing, and everything in between. Offering turnarounds in as little as 24 hours with one-on-one -on -one support throughout your design and assembly process makes PCBWay your number one stop for all of your PCB needs. Head over to PCBWay.com Pop your needs into the instant quote, get your quote, use your $5 coupon and get your design underway today. For even more fun, hit the shared projects tab, take a look at what other people, just like you have had designed and assembled by PCBWay, take your pick from these projects, there's more than a few to keep the techie amused. For more information, visit the link in the description below. So we've got this, which looks like it goes to ground. If I'm not mistaken, this is a no connect. Maybe they go there. We've got this one here, which I suspect is going to run straight up here and provide us with some power. So first off, let's get some flux on this and try and clean it up. Hopefully these pads will stay where they are. wonder if we can get away with wicking that off without hurting the pad. Beautiful. Try and clear these ground holes out. It's not even a ground hole, that's a ground pad. Let's 
Let's add some solder to that. Let's see if we can get it out. Let's try again. There we go. Right, let's get that little area cleaned up. What's this pad doing? Looks like it may stay in position. So I think we've got away with that. Let's bring our attention to the port. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, baby. If I was trying to repair this to sell it on, I would definitely be changing that port. But seeing as I won't be selling this, it's just for a video, that will do us perfectly. It's fine inside. So now we need to try and get this port soldered into here. So I've just discovered that this leg is a little bit full of solder. So what we're going to try and do is wick that off so we can see what we're dealing with. It's not going to want to stay in place. That's better. As you can see, it's a little bit twisted, which is why it's not sitting where I want it to sit. They are both definitely twisted. That metal is extremely weak. Let's bring this board back. I am definitely tempted to leave that well alone. Try and get some solder in here. Good. And then we've got these little legs to deal with but I don't know if I can actually get in there with this iron oh, maybe I can let's release this board give that a clean up The other side of the board a good clean. I wonder, is that enough? Let's get back on the overhead and see if we're getting anything different. What we need to know is, are we drawing any current? Bloody USB. Never gonna work the first time around. Do we get anything on the ammeter? absolutely nothing but we do get a red light on the front to indicate that's charging there we go the ammeter's kicked into gear i wonder if the battery is just completely flat i'm going to leave that for five minutes and we'll come back to it and see if the ammeter has picked up at all right this has been on charge for about 10 minutes um but something funky is going on if you look, take a look at the ammeter that's plugged in. I'm on USB-A on, um, on the power block. So that 
should in effect be working. As you can see, it's drawing nothing. So we got the um, the multimeter. I'll just put that on ground, and this pin here, as you can see, if I can get a good connection, bear with me. That is charging. So we're charging. Um, leave it for another 10 minutes and I'll be back. Right, we're back. As you can see from the ammeter, it's 31 minutes later and the battery protection has obviously kicked off because the ammeter is now picking up and registering the reading. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off charge. So that's off. And what I want to know is, does this turn on under its own power? And it does, as you can see, blue flashing light. So I'll turn that back off. There we go, that's turned off. Now what we've got to do, we've got two glue speakers. So I'm going to get rid of the hot glue that you can see down here. And I'll show you what I'm going to use to pin that back down. I could just remelt the hot glue, but it's not great. So I'm going to try and keep my head out of the way. I can't keep my head out of the way. Here we go. So I've got rid of the hot glue. I'm going to use some UV resin, which is meant for nails, but it'll do for this. Just stick a, a spooge in each corner. There's some hot glue there, but I'm sure that'll be fine. This stuff sets like concrete under a UV lamp, which you'll see in a moment. The UV lamp turned on. I'll just leave that for uh, 30 seconds or so. That should be enough. As you can see, not quite. Give that a bit more time. Good, that should be perfect. Now it's a case of reassemble this thing. I was going to use this and put it back. I think what I'll do, I'll just put that, put that on there to get these two screws back in. Just hold that board in place. Put the screw in the right place, Wayne. Before I go and put this back together, I want to make sure it turns on. The switch doesn't seem to want to move at the moment. So what have I done wrong? The board's not in place. I see that port is actually stopping the board from sitting down. Fettle with this. It's turned on. Should have a light. Yeah, we've got a blue light. Perfect. Turn back off. I'm not one that typically likes to ask for likes and subs, but if you did get any enjoyment out of this video, any knowledge, then please do leave a thumb and subscribe for more content. If you want to buy me and the channel a coffee a month you can do so channel memberships start i believe at 1.99 don't quote me on that i cannot remember it would be greatly appreciated the like and the sub more so it helps the channel uh, to to get out there and and reach different people which means we can take on bigger projects nicer projects
Right, I'm going to get this connected to my phone and we'll see if the speaker actually works and what sort of crap quality we're going to get out of it. Let's give it a go. Does it work? We'll see you on the next one.